and their business plan didn't actually include selling people these games. It was mostly putting them in arcades, renting them to people, selling them to a few people, but yeah. Right. So so when you actually compress them down like they do for virtual console, mm-hmm. they're not they're not that huge. What right. about memory cards? Can you not put them on an SD card? You can. That's what I've been doing. I'm just you can, moving stuff. Yeah, over you can. To an you SD can card. translate things or transfer things over to SD cards, but it's really slow, and you yeah. can't actually play off an SD card. Yeah. You have oh, to move something back to your memory, internal memory. That's kind of what I'm hoping they'll do: is just let us play stuff off SD cards, because it's not like they're streaming it. They're yeah, just going to well, load the whole thing into RAM. Yeah. And then, Par- and then Perrin was like, "Well, you know, Nintendo, we like to keep things as clean and simple as possible." I'm like, "Guess what? This is juggling. Isn't. Yeah, juggling data like this is." not clean and simple. It's right. frustrating that if you deleted a game and you want to go back and play it, you have to download it again from the virtual yeah. console's channel. Mm-hmm. And okay, that's a very cute analogy that you've made up, Perrin Kaplan. <laughs> very nice work with the refrigerator metaphor. But it's not actually relevant because things in your refrigerator spoil after a while. Whereas <laughs> digital data doesn't unless you've like screwed up your Nintendo manufacturing on the Wii, so the data corrupts. But okay. Really? Because I think my copy of Urban Champion is spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> that was rotten from, from, from the day one. Yeah, I think the bag was open. You should have squeezed it first. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it is really it's fairly indefensible that Nintendo does not make like an external hard drive or something available for us right. to use because right. people who are really serious about the retro games which is a lot of people who own virtual console mm-hmm. because it's really aside from the handful of Nintendo games that come out really the one thing that's worth using Wii for yeah <sighs> and looks like it's going to be besides Mario Galaxy like throughout the holiday so well there's Zack and Wiki well oh, excuse me Zack and Wiki and um, okay and, and Umbrella Chronicles and but yeah. not Harvey Birdman anymore which they put, put oh and yeah, yeah, Link's crossbow that. training Wait, oh, right. Link's crossbow training. Oh yeah, it's coming out this year, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank God. I but that's like four <laughs> games. Just almost ruined Christmas. Yeah. Four games. <laughs> four games. That's not very many. So yeah, Virtual Console. Good thing they have it. But let's. Yeah, I don't know. It makes me grumpy sometimes. Yep. Lots of things make me grumpy. Mm. You don't have to repay to download though. No. 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 Yeah. No. So no. It's not like iTunes. Thank God. Yeah. I would. I would kill someone if it was like <laughs> iTunes. Okay. So it's not that bad. You could clear no, something but off still and then re-download something. It's ridiculously else. It's still a pain in the ass to no, it, no, it is. I, I'm not crazy mm-hmm. about that. There's either. also no move command. There's no like click this and oh, it goes yeah. to the SD card and gets deleted. You have to copy it and then erase it and it bo- they both take. And all then you time. have to go and you have to find your save file in a different section of the Wii internal memory and delete Jesus. your save files if you don't want to keep those. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, I had no idea. Yeah, you should go and look at your save files. You probably have a whole lot. I, I, I'm every sure. Time yeah, you, every time, every time you go back to uh, the right. Wii main menu, it creates an auto save file. Yes. Yeah. It's an N64 or Neo Geo game. Oh, that's probably why I'm yeah. filled up on space. You're probably hurting at this point. Nintendo's <laughs> clean and simple strategy revealing itself again. Right. Very similar to Microsoft's clean and simple strategy. What? Yeah. I have to un- uninstall the DLLs? What? No. Well, that's why the Xbox just breaks every, like, five minutes, so you can throw it away and get a new you one. You know, mine hasn't broken yet, but now that I've said that, I'm screwed. <laughs> yep. I'm, I've noticed how I've never said that. Okay, so notable things about Virtual Console in recent months, mm-hmm. or recent weeks, actually. Turbo Duo games mm. in the form of Gates of Thunder. Lots of potential there. Yep. Um, there were some very good Turbo Duo games. Yeah. Ease 1 and 2 actually came out in Japan. Really? Yeah. That was their that was their launch oh. title for this. Yeah. Well, that's hot. Mm. I don't think we can count on seeing that. There'd be a lot of translation and shit. They translated it. Yeah, it, 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 came, out it came out in the U.S. Oh, right. No, it yeah. Was it was not, just, that's it was not a game. There were actually yeah. games that came out in the U.S. for Turbo Duo. Right. So See, I've never actually seen that So game. it's not an import-only thing. Mm-hmm. There's... there's yeah, the Venn diagram that you're so fond of does not necessarily intersect there. Oh, yeah. Um, Neo Geo games, lots of potential there. Not so much realization just yet. Right. And import previously import-only games such as mm. Sin and Punishment. Ninja Judge Amaru-kun. And that's actually not new because we did get Battle Load Runner right. a long time ago. Yeah. But You know what I found so interesting about Sin and Punishment is that, they A, they actually translated it and everything. Well, they translated they trans- the menus. They translated the menus. They but didn't the translate the subtitles for the dialogue. Right. But the, the English, was already in English, English voice acting already was yeah. in place. But they, transla- but they also translated the... Uh, tutorial like if you play the tutorial that's just text based and it's all in english huh. and the other interesting thing somebody was doing an interview with i think treasure and treasure was like well yeah when we were working on the virtual console version of sin and punishment we thought that maybe it would be interesting with Wii controls so we're thinking about that but i mean besides the fact of like them sort of mooting a you know sin and punishment 2 for the wii treasure worked on the virtual console version of sin and punishment like nintendo actually got them to fix it up or you know that's do all the work that's kind of rad, actually. That is kind of rad. Well done, Treasure. We yep. love you for that. Okay, so I think we're done talking about news and stuff mm-hmm. now. Let's talk about Chrono Trigger. Mm. I like Chrono Trigger. Mm. 